You guys, welcome back to Number Six with Cheese. Today, headed down into the loop for one of the locations for Cleo's Southern Cuisine. Very excited, and today on the show, Dario from the 77 Flavors Podcast here in Chicago. Some may even say, wildly successful podcast. So excited to see Dario, also a great stand-up comedian. Yes. Pumped to have him, glad you're here. Also a Patreon shout out today, guys, for Derek Boudreaux, one of the all-time great, he's, do he's dropping two bucks every video, and then on top of that, he's also a Patreon member at the $10 tier if you want to support the channel if you want to be like Derek if you want to get a shout out head on over to patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese check out the tiers we're gonna hook you guys up with something fun um, let's get to the food let's go meet Dario guys yeah Acquired with Dario, about to head back to the car. Eat this Cleo's, so much good stuff. Like I said, acquired, jump cut. All right, we're all set up. We got the GoPro rack in the back seat uh, with Dario, and uh, this is a big one for us. This is awesome, we're super stoked. Hey, this, I'm, I'm glad to be here, man, I appreciate y'all. Yeah, we'll get into everything that Dario does, uh, but we gotta focus on the food first, because that's why a lot of you are here. Then you'll fall in love with Dario. Yeah, that's how yeah. it is. This is one of those guest episodes where our, our guest did pick where we went, um, so we'll, like always, let's get into a Corey Wagner second angle. All right, we'll show you what we got here. I went with the hot honey chicken sandwich. It's covered in pickles. I mean, look at that breaded chicken. Ooh. That is just delicious. That looks like even better than before. Right, for Real. Look at that thing. And then underneath they just do a little lettuce. I'm telling you, I don't really trust the uh, cafeteria style ones as much as I trust the brick and mortar. Yeah, we went to the timeout market location. It's now there's a location open the uh, last two months on Wells in the loop. Yeah. Uh, which is pretty awesome. So now let's get into what Dario got, the uh, Dario second angle. Oh my goodness. First of all, we got the catfish, three pieces of catfish. Uh, we got some three wings right here. And then this biscuit right here is one of the most underrated biscuits <laughs> in all of Chicago. I promise you that. I like that hot take. Oh my goodness. I, I Look, I stand on. I believe on. I believe it. Yeah, I believe it. That was that. convincing. You know what I'm saying? Then it's macaroni and cheese. Number six. You can't be on number six with cheese without this macaroni and cheese. See, I love that, that you had a, that stipulation. Yeah, it was a Dario request. It's like, look, hey. the number six with cheese. We gotta get the mac and cheese is fire, so we yes. gotta do it. You gotta do it. This was a must right here. I think Dario and I, Dario and I got the same, right? Yeah, I got, we got the three. The I'm. I love catfish fillets. This might be maybe the second time on the show mm. I've ever had a catfish Looks fillet. Oh, really good. Um, yeah, a lot of places we go to just have burgers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> so I'm. So so excited for this. Um, only my second time at Cleo's ever. So I'm very pumped. All right, well, there's only one thing left to do, and that's cheers our food. Damn, look at these catfish fillets. Yeah, wow. they, they ain't playing. All right, Cleo's, uh, the, the loop location, boys. Let's go. Cheers. cheers. Great to have you. Oh my goodness, thanks for having me. Let's go. Mm. Mm. Oh mm. my god. Mm -hmm. Boom. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. I love catfish so much. Mm -hmm. Weird name. Great food. Their breading is so unique and good. It really is. Mm. Damn, look at this just falling apart in the mm -hmm. best way. Yeah. So what made you pick this place other than the fact that they have amazing food? Well, I like uh, Cleo's for the simple fact it's a Bronzeville staple. In Bronzeville, yeah. anybody that listens to 77 Playbill in Chicago, um, we have an affinity for Bronzeville. It's, it's the black metropolis, and this food is very indicative of <clears throat> what, what that means, right? Mm. And when you think about it, this is, I'm, I'm probably saying it again, one of some of the best chicken in Chicago mm -hmm. and they don't get talked about enough. They need to. With the north side, you yeah. know, the south side is so dope to see them right here in the loop. Um, that's why I picked them, man, because like, A, I wanted to eat it, uh, and I was like, if y'all paying for it, I'm gonna do it. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but, but also, man, like this is, people need to know about this, man. Y'all got a dope platform. And then we got spray Appreciate you, man. Yeah, for sure. You know who didn't make catfish like this? My Polish grandmother. Uh, <laughs> uh, so it's really nice to get a little culture in how it's supposed to be cooked. More the pierogies, huh? Uh, yeah, it was ever the, all the food was gray and brown. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So speaking of 77 flavors, yeah. why don't you give us a little background on what that is? Yeah. I, this is actually fun for me. Because I feel like I know you from before that, right? Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, I didn't yeah. think you had started that when we had first met. So I've been able to watch you start this podcast. 
and then watch all these news articles on it. And it's been like a really fun process watching it. But why don't you give the audience like a breakdown of what 77 Flavors is and yeah. kind of the background story sure. of it. Sure. So 77 Flavors of Chicago, basically it's a podcast that uh, goes to all 77 Chicago's community areas, talk about the history, and we talk about food in that community area. And uh, it's fun, it's lighthearted, I do it with my girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, we're part of it, and the funny thing is the, sto is the story how it started, right? So I bought this, I bought all the equipment based off of another podcast to make that better. And when I got the equipment on, it was the first time I ever had anything that sounded good. Or anything. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. And so I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, holy shit, this sounds really good. Mm -hmm. And I told my girlfriend, Sarah, hey, put these headphones on, listen to yourself. And she goes, <laughs> Damn, I sound good. We should do a podcast. <laughs> it's that buttery smooth audio it, that motivates yeah. you. Yeah, I get you know, it. I get it. Yeah. You know, and like 15 minutes later, we had uh we had the idea, we had the name down. Um no kidding. Yeah, yeah, no joking. And, and you know, Chicago, I'm I'm a Chicago diehard. Yeah. She's from Jordan's uh cook, so that's where 77 flavors we kind of combine two things we love. Yeah. And the rest is history, man. That's incredible. That yeah. is incredible. Yeah. And you guys are closing in on doing the whole every all 77 of Chicago's yeah. neighborhoods. Huh? Yeah, December 12th, we have uh, our, it's going to be the 77 community area episode. Not the 77th episode, actually. It, it'll probably be somewhere like 90, uh, 92 <laughs> episodes. But yeah. so we, we'll be ending there. We have a live taping that's going to happen um, right before then. So a lot of, a lot of those stuff happening. It's just, it's been like un believable year. Yeah, year man. And a half, You've you been know? busy. Yeah, we've <laughs> yeah. been, been damn busy. Uh, been busy. Yeah, watching you travel Egypt was one of the more <laughs> exciting things. Like, that was yeah. some FOMO that I got to have, like, just scrolling through Instagram and Facebook or whatever, being like, damn, bro, pyramids? Yeah, God, I think when that? that episode went live, I think I was sitting in Lyle, Illinois. No, no. <laughs> and I was like, damn, Mario. Yeah. <laughs> Can we make it me, I, I'm one of those people that gets only gets FOMO when it's, like, travel related. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, uh, seeing all of that, and your stuff pops up everywhere. It's like it's very cool for me because we run a lot of different Insta Instagram accounts and blogs. Your stuff just always pops up in the best way. It's always like oh, someone yeah. sharing it yeah. or someone I knew was on all that stuff. So I appreciate that. We we want to get the news out there. And not I think y'all know me, man. It's not for it's not for me. You know I don't need the glow and the clout and other things like that. I love Chicago. Y'all love Chicago. Best city. Yeah, man. And, and greatest and now, in the world. Yeah, man. Y'all been doing it six years. We've been doing it for what uh, two years? It'll be um, a year and a half now. Yeah. And you, know, you learn so much about Chicago. You how really do, it is. dude. How many people do you think if you interviewed on the street? Knew there were 77 neighborhoods. You, you, I think that's a very like unknown fact. Yeah, oh, I would have guessed. And awesome to learn. Yeah, yeah. That, that alone. I'm glad you say that because we a lot of people are like, what does 77 mean? I'm like, <laughs> what do you? And you're like, like, what do you mean? You know, you know me. My first reaction is like, uh, Chicago. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and I'm like, you know, that is a that is a weird number for people to just randomly know. I got a lot of friends that moved here as transplants, and there's no world they know that. Yeah, nobody, nobody. Yeah, they picked like six. Yeah, they've been on one like, train like, line. Have you read the, read the red line? Yeah. I went on the brown line finally. Like. Dude, yeah. yeah. You, you know the funny thing is, a lot of people don't know the difference between a community area and a neighborhood. So, yeah, that's also something. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. yeah. That, so we're we're educating people on that too. There's uh over over 200 neighborhoods in Chicago. Oh my See, that's god. That's nuts. Yeah. Like, but 77. That's the next show. You guys yeah. should just start doing those videos. Yeah. 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 Like, oh, you think you know Chicago? Let me help you. Oh, you know? we're we're getting it. We got some facts on there that a lot of people are like, holy shit. Yeah. I'd be one of those holy shit people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'd be me. I love finding you fun facts this city. We love that stuff. We mm -hmm. nerd out about like actual, I love documentaries and actually learn. Like I like to know a lot about the place I'm living. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like so many people just like kind of take it for granted. Like I really dig the history of it. Like I took the architecture tour finally, but like just the amount of stuff you learn in 90 minutes, like about the city. It's just, I mm -hmm. love the history. Like my area where I live, like the River West area, like yeah. all the Montgomery Ward stuff. I just thought it was so cool. Isn't like, it cool with the, uh, with how they used to be for the newspapers too? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And they were like, they, they had his own zip code from all the catalogs coming in and yeah. like they found a bunch of roller skates in the wall of the Groupon building because yeah. it was like what they would use to like go Get to around. each out. Yeah. Did you know that uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and uh, Santa Claus were invented here in Chicago? No. Yeah. Leo Burnett? Yeah. Do yeah. <laughs> yeah. That we agency like we, created Santa? Yeah, we started that. And, That's and crazy. The reason, the reason why we started it is because we, they to make some. money. Yeah, right, pretty much. Uh, Actually, yeah. who wants to shut the kids up? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here, yeah. believe in something. Yeah, yeah, believe in something. So that's so that's how it started. That's incredible. I see. The, I Ooh. love that. Wait, Yara, have you tried this yet? No. What is this? This is our number six with cheese, hotter six. I gotta put that. Y'all got. We got own hot sauce. We got two hot sauce. This is oh, the hotter what? one. You like a little spice? Hell yeah. All right, right. Well, I can't wait to. This will be a live review. Let's yeah. go. Let's this go. is the real reason we had Dario on. Yeah, yeah. You get a hopeful <laughs> testimonial. Yeah, yeah.
<laughs> this mac and cheese is ridiculously good, by the way. And what I tell you. And what hot sauce you. and macaroni and cheese is one of my favorite things. All right, I know a lot of people watching the show like fast it's food. It's got a good kick to it, so. Yeah, okay. Do you guys remember the, the, the naked chicken mm. chalupa at Taco mm. Bell where the chicken became the shell? Yes. This catfish is so large, I kind of yeah. have like a little catfish shell. Yeah. You where I can pour sauce, a little, little canal. Mm. Mm, let's see, let's see what this is. Let's see, here we go. Here we go, boys. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. Mm. I do love it. It, it works with catfish. <laughs> Might be my first time having it with catfish. Um, wow. A little yeah. black pepper. Did y'all put this together? Oh yeah, we got a chef that we partnered with who kind of knew our flavor profiles and we kind of crafted it together, but oh, a little, wow. little honey, a little ketchup and mustard, wow. a little black pepper, garlic, onion. Y'all. It's supposed to be good for like kind of all foods. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? They this is fire. Right? I'm glad you like it. It's, it's got legit. Like sweetness. Yeah. Yeah, the honey in there is really nice. And oh that's the hotter one, too. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Y'all sell this? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. My only regret today is not bringing you a bottle. I know, I didn't even think about it. That's right, I know where you live. You yeah. know what? We will mail you a couple. Uh -huh. We'll get your address and we'll send you a couple. Yeah, for you and Sarah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, Sarah would love this. Couple bottles of each. She a hot sauce freak like us? Let me tell you, she from the Middle East, man. <laughs> they uh, they food different, man. They yeah. hot as hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is that just all ranch like me and my upbringing? Oh yeah. All right, who passed the yeah. Deans? <laughs> Dude, the macaroni and cheese is very unique. What did I tell you? I told you, it's like, it's creamy, but it's together, it's not runny. What is this noodle shape? I don't even know. These are like little curly cues. Yeah. I, I don't know where they get it from. Have you tried the biscuit yet? That's what I'm going for. That was going to be my dessert to myself. Look at the butteriness on this thing. Well, they call it 24 karat gold biscuit, mm -hmm. right? What a great name. That is excellent. Mm -hmm. Stuart Scott would call this butter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Booyah. Booyah. That's butter. Damn, this is good. Biscuits approved. I'm going to put macaroni and cheese on the biscuit. One of the top in the city. Would oh, you agree with uh, Dario on it's that? It's the best. Yeah. Most of the biscuits I have, unfortunately, are nowhere near this good. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's like at like Popeyes or like KFC. Right. Like, they're okay for passing, yeah. but not this like homemade. I got a question for you. Yeah. So if people want to go, just because I know you mentioned earlier that you're doing a live podcast taping. Yeah. First off, I guess, where can people watch a podcast at? But then also, if they want to go see you live, is there a particular platform that they should follow you on so that they can figure out how to get tickets to that? Yeah, for sure. Um, you can follow us right now on social media, everywhere on social media at 77 Flavor Shy. So YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, at literally everything is 77 Flavor Shy. Follow the Instagram for the uh, post. Um, so you can buy tickets. Tickets are donation based. Uh -huh. Oh, we, hell we're, yeah. Yeah, we're not we're not collecting any money off of this. Like we haven't done the whole podcast. So we just want people to come, have fun. We we're gonna have some of the past guests on there. We're gonna have uh, just a, a good time. We got a DJ. Hey, yeah, yeah, we got you know DJ. how to event plan. Yeah, you, you know, come on now. This yeah. is gonna be like the old Wednesdays after work. Yeah, or yeah, so, serious. Yeah. DJ out and everything. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna do it big. So follow us there. We love how you come out. Only can have 50 tickets uh, with okay. the venue. And this is the only, I told you all, but fun fact this is the only episode we ever planned. So, yeah. <laughs> two and a half, a uh, year and a half, it's the only one we ever planned. Some good stuff coming for you guys. Yeah, it's pretty trying. cool. Also, you guys heard that he said uh, YouTube. You guys need to go subscribe to that. Oh, please. We got, we got That's a YouTube. one to one. You That's guys are all YouTube people. Hey, I put, thank y'all. Yeah, come on. We, number six with cheese people, y'all follow us. You guys are fans of food. Yeah, you know. And we got some Chicago folks. I know you guys, and even if you're not from Chicago, you obviously love watching the Chicago food stuff. So you know? head on over yeah, there. Yeah, way better looking than us. Huh? Yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> well, I'm you, all superficial. And, uh, if you want to yeah. see Sarah roast me from time to time, <laughs> <laughs> that's the only person to get away with it. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds like me and Sean's relationship. Oh, yeah, he's the Sarah. Yeah, yeah, the Sarah, yeah. absolutely. No, wait, no, because I'm uh, the roast. Uh, oh, yeah, I so mean, I'm, I'm Daria. Sarah. Yeah, 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 I'm the Sarah. Sarah. Yeah. Yeah, what's it like working with your significant other? That's pretty big. You know, we got asked that question a lot at the beginning, but the, the truth of the matter is, it's actually fun, right? Yeah. It's really yeah. fun. You guys have um, a great dynamic. You know, and, and I, I love it to death, not to be mushy and everything, but like, we have <laughs> such a great chemistry. We the two best friends that we got. Yeah, you know? so, yeah. So, I get it. Why not make it fun? And we didn't know, we didn't know it was gonna blow up the uh, Chicago Food Tribune critic. He found us and was like, yo, this is dope, and we blew up ever since. That's, but that's so really funny. Day night. <laughs> was it Nick? Who, yeah, from, Nick Kim is working. Yeah, he's a yeah. This hot sauce is fire. I'm so glad you like it. It's legit. It. This we, is amazing. It's so, I, so, like, so, literally, so like, like uh, that's out of control. Yeah, I'm really glad you it's like really it. Truly, yeah. that means a lot because, like, we we were very proud of it. Yeah, uh, you should be. Like, you should yes. be. Like, yeah. I would say it's the second best hot sauce on the market. I think <laughs> What's the first? Truff. I think Truff hot. Oh, I, mean, I have Truff. Yeah. I think Truff's the best in the which, game. Which but Truff though. I literally like all of them. Yeah, I like. I got the red bottle. Oh, the red bottle. Yeah, the hot. That's the hotter one. Yeah. 
It, it, I mean, you put that on like deli sandwich. It's stupid. It's Fire. stupid. I was just using it this weekend. I got a little truffle. Yeah, I, was I had it literally through. last night. It's like it's, it's so just good. when you know you want a little truffle, it's great. Yeah. Some nights I don't want that flavor profile, and yeah. some I do. I mean, you want, oh Corey wants it every night, bro. Dude, every night, truffle I love freak. It. I love it. I would it. say so. Like for me, I I can't get off of uh, Louisiana, but that hot sauce right there, that is fantastic. Yes. Like see, like I'm not even joking. I'm like, just gonna cut this and make it an ad. Hey, I'm gonna look at the camera, y'all. Make sure y'all get that hot sauce, the number six with cheese hot sauce. I agree. I'm not, look, black people, <laughs> like, like, let me talk to y'all real quick. That, that, that Louisiana is good, don't get me wrong. It's always gonna be there. But sometimes, you know, Jordan had to come off the bench at some point, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like yeah. he had to come off the bench. LeBron getting old, you know, like, new age, man. So yeah. that's all I'm gonna say, man. Speaking facts. I'm just speaking facts. Sixer sauce is like the hot new point guard out of North Carolina. Yeah, right, you know, <laughs> you know that, you know what? You know what y'all hot sauce is? That's y'all got the Ja Morant. Ja Morant. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Stylish like Ja's hair too, dude. I love. Ja. He just got swagger for days. For days, man. It's yeah. quite the compliment for Ja. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, yeah, that's <laughs> absolutely right. That's absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you want to rate? Do you want to grab? Um, yeah, yeah, let's yeah. do it. All right, we got the whiteboards out. We're going to score it out of five like we always do. You can down to whatever decimal point you want. But first, we'll break it down, then we'll reveal. Uh, Corey, why don't you kick it off? Dude, that chicken sandwich, once again, I know you guys have seen us eat it on a video, but it even surpassed what we had before. It was prepped even better, I think. The breading is so unique and delicious, and it's like, you can see all the herbs and spices in there that make it really good. And then the hot and the sweet mixing in. And then also like just really, if, you, if you're if you gonna have a chicken sandwich, you need to have top-notch pickles or no pickles at all. And they had top-notch pickles so that it added to the experience, didn't take away from it. Just a fantastic sandwich. Yeah, all right, Dario, what's your breakdown of uh, your platter? So the catfish is like, you, there's no better catfish in the city. Right? I know. There's damn. no better catfish in the city. Uh, the breading is, is like top-notch. The flavor is like unmatched. The chicken is, is just, Immaculate. I love fried chicken and like to have the crispy skin with the flavor and it's still mm -hmm. juicy on the inside. You can't beat it. The biscuit, y'all already know how I feel about it. <laughs> 24 karat gold. 24 karat gold. It don't miss. Uh, and then for the for the simple fact that you get three pieces, big pieces of uh, catfish, three nice size wings yeah. for a decent price. You know what I mean? You gonna yeah. pay, you know, 17 bucks is what I think it was for that. Yeah. Not bad. That's what. That's my take on it. That's my take. Uh, you can tell when we got a food guy on the show. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm not Most gonna try. Most of our guests are like, I don't know. It was pretty good. <laughs> uh, I just throw every guest we've ever had under the bus. There's. I'm not gonna say. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna say anything better than that. I will just say how impressed I was by that location opening because they're a Brownsville staple. Yeah. So to be able to travel yes. to the loop, which is normally kind of like business folks and then tourists, mm -hmm. uh, to be able to deliver on that yeah. is gonna get big points. I feel me. like you can see uh, there's certain places that go from started outside the loop, started in regular neighborhoods, yes. and come to the loop and you see a drop in quality Absolutely. because it's so difficult to yeah. do something here. Yeah. Yeah. That's not the case here, that's good to see. Yep. All right, Alex Trebek, uh, bump that track in heaven. All right, we got it rolling, now let's, right. let's score it. Let's score it. And he Damn, you don't have your sunglasses. Try, I know. Sometimes I try to look at his sunglasses. It's a dreary day. Look at this. This is what I, Dario, this is what I deal with, dude. All day? He's just all, all day messing with me, dude. He doesn't let me live my life. This is so good, though. How much? Mine was what, like 12 bucks? Yes, yeah, yeah, that's really good. That's a good price for a chicken. It sure is, dude. <laughs> look at this. I, this is what I deal with. This is ridiculous. You're making me want to like do it. Sarah's here. I kind of want to do it. I'm curious. I'm a curious little dude. I'm a curious cat, dude. God damn it, he's got such good skills. All right, there we go. I'm getting better at hiding my score. A skill I didn't think I'd need to have. Yeah, right. But when you're friends with Corey Wagner, you gotta, you gotta be very gotta elusive. Yeah. <laughs> my God. All right, you're gonna make your editing tough. All right, fine. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on the count of three, boys, flip your score out of five here today at Cleo's in the loop. One, two, three. Oh, oh my, we're so yes. close. Dude, we're all right in Dario there. The had high four, eight, four. I had four seven, you had four five. Nothing below a four five. That's ridiculous. Yeah. I And we only, hold those high fours yeah. like in really this high is, regard. Yeah, this, this is, is a royalty score. This is royalty score. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And Cleo's is royalty. And like you said, not enough people are really talking about not them. Enough. 
No. And they should I will be. be. I'll be yeah. singing it from the mountaintops. Yeah, you know what's crazy? The only reason why I gave him a 4.8 is because uh, point 0.1 is because nobody's perfect. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's nerfing. Yeah, yeah. And, and then another point 0.1 because you don't get the full menu there and y'all need to have yeah. it. Yeah. We didn't say that. That's an abbreviated yeah. version of yes. the menu. Yes, so, yes, so yeah. like, if you go there and you think that's it, you got to you know, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. All right, guys, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you share on Facebook, we'll be eternally grateful grateful to you so please 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 spread the the, the love yeah. and the gospel of number six with cheese and don't forget you guys all have to go follow 77 flavors of Chicago I have everything linked below mm -hmm. so just go down and click on the link Thank you all. follow Dario make sure you subscribe on uh, YouTube and all that and then also a question for you guys so we can all hang out in the comment section below what is your city's best neighborhood for food Ooh. this guy's going out and figuring out every neighborhood not neighborhood community yeah. yeah every community in Chicago's little food epicenter and figuring out what they got we have our favorites in Chicago we're gonna comment them below we want to hear your favorites if you have your favorite in Chicago comment that if you're not from Chicago and you want to say West Toledo is the best spot to go get food or whatever. Yeah. What's in West Toledo? <laughs> Dude, all the hot spots. Yes, okay. The best pizza in the Corey, world. Corey's uh, going on record to have Toledo pizza be a thing. Yeah, I'm trying He's to. He's going to create it. Yeah. Really? I'm yeah. from Toledo and there's a thing. I consider Toledo to have its own brand of pizza. It does, yeah. Yeah, and, I'm sure it does. And so I'm trying to push that to be the, the best pizza in the world. Is hey, my I goal. want to have some. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah, he sold it. Let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> Anyways, right. go comment. Do your thing. Let's get out of here. Thanks, Dario. Absolutely. Yeah, you Thank y'all. Love y'all, brothers, man. Keep on shining. See you guys. Number six. <laughs>